So, in this video we're taking two Trek Marlin 7s, fitting one with a Bifang 250 watt conversion kit, another with a 1000 watt kit, and ultimately telling you which one you should buy, if any. And along the way I'll provide tips to improve your e-bike conversion experience and make these kits perform better than out of the box. Now full disclosure, the 1000 watt e-bike kit was sent to me for review. However, the bikes and 250 watt e-bike kit was purchased by myself. This video is not sponsored by anyone and my review and opinion is honest. I won't go into too much detail about fitting the kit to the bike as this was already covered in detail in a previous video which you can watch by clicking the link in the video's corner or in the description. Because of the frame geometry of the Trek Marlin 7, motor spaces and an offset chain ring is required in order to make the conversion kits function correctly. I'll leave more info on the exact hardware in the video's description if you want to repeat this conversion on a Marlin 7. Fitting the kit to each bike took me about 3-4 to four hours. Now in most countries around the world there are restrictions on just how much power your e-bike can output. Here in New Zealand that number is 300 watts on public roads. So that I do not break any laws, I'll be using my laptop and a Bifang USB programming cable to program the motor to a maximum of 300 watts power output. Don't worry though, I will be testing the 1000 watt motor's full capabilities on privately owned land later in the video. Now even if you don't want to limit the power output of the motor, I'd still actually highly recommend you pick up a USB programmer cable so that you can tune the behaviour of the motor. For example, on the 250 watt motor, one of the default settings was programmed to limit the cruising speed assistance to only 60 watts, which meant the rider was putting in a lot of effort to maintain speed. Programming is quick and easy to do, but to save you time, I've included a link to my website down below in the video's description, which explains step by step how to program and tune your Bifang motor to perfection. Alright, so here we are. We've got beautiful weather. We have even more beautiful scenery. Behind me there is Lake Rotorua in New Zealand. And of course, we have the converted e-bike ready to rock and roll. So, I think it's time we went for a ride. We're starting off on relatively flat ground. I'm in a low power profile. It's capped at 200 watts at the moment. I'm just going through the gears and we're quite quickly getting up to speed here. So I'm at 30 k's right now. And the camera might not pick it up, we're just heading for a slight descent. I'm not having to pedal but in a moment just around this corner there's going to be a hill to test out the the power just check for traffic I don't want to end up in another fail video on YouTube well another one I don't know that I've been in one to begin with but anyway here we go all right I'm 
putting in uh, what I'd call moderate effort. I'm not being lazy doing nothing, but I'm not trying to hoof it all the same. I'm managing about 16 k's an hour. It feels good. This profile is a good balance between not doing all the work for you, but taking out the you know the real hard work coming up a hill. It's when your legs turn to jelly. Not with this kit. I mean, you can set it up so your legs turn to jelly on hill climbs, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Little car coming, let's stop. Hello car, don't squash me. Thank you. Okay. Alright. This is good. How would I describe it? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. It sort of takes me back to the days of the original PlayStation where you'd buy a game and you'd clock it and then you'd get bored so you'd use cheat codes that is what this e-bike kit is like it's like a cheat code for your normal push bike unlocks its full potential I think it's time for a moustache oh, sorry, damn I meant montage. Let's go for a montage. Here we go. With regards to range per battery charge, there is no one size fits all answer as the range from a single charge will depend on your terrain, your motor assistance level, what battery size you purchased with your kit and several other factors. But as a general rule of thumb, cruising at around 30 km per hour, the power consumption was around 150 watts with minimal effort by myself. The 52 volt 21 amp hour battery pack on this bike is 1092 watt hours. Doing the math, this equals 7 hours of riding or just over 200 kilometers. However, in the real world, there are hills, stopping and starting at intersections, and so on. So, taking this into account, in my experience, the actual range is closer to around 100 kilometers per charge. There are many different size battery packs available, so I'd recommend buying a battery pack that will have at least 30% charge remaining after your commute, as this will extend your battery's lifespan. And this brings us to my top 3 tips for a better riding experience. After about 10 kilometers worth of riding, the motor fasteners can require retorquing after jiggling around during a ride. You can also use Loctite to make sure the motor nut does not back off during a ride. Buy a shift sensor. A shift sensor is a must have in my opinion as it protects your drivetrain whenever you shift gears by limiting the motor's power momentarily while the gears change. Program the motor. 
as I've already mentioned, programming the motor controller to give you just the right of amount of assistance according to your needs makes for a much more enjoyable riding experience. So which motor kit would I recommend? Well to be honest I'm happy with both kits and I don't think you could go wrong with either. Really it comes down to what your individual needs are in an e-bike. The 250 watt motor is much lighter than the 1000 watt counterpart. Couple that with a smaller battery and the 250 watt motor kit gives you a relatively light and nimble bike. The 1000 watt motor has superior power and range thanks to its bigger battery. If you're an adventurer who wants long range and plenty of power for effortless hill climbing, then you'll love the 1000 watt motor kit. This video costs a lot of money to produce, so if you do choose to buy a kit it'd be amazing if you could use my affiliate links in the video's description, as this gives me a small kickback at no cost to you, and keeps my channel afloat. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.